can you recognize this as being brain tissue? Of course you can, because it just looks like brain. Most of these cells here are glial cells. Most of the tissue, especially the foamy areas, are probably areas of uh, uh, myelination. I admit, I don't see too many classic neurons, which would appear quite a bit bigger than the rest of these nucleated astrocytes and glial cells, but we may find some. Oh, there you see a blood vessel, a kind of a large blood vessel within the brain. Uh, here's a smaller one. Here's another smaller one. But most of this is normal, perhaps white matter of brain. A large portion of these cells, especially the ones with a round nucleus and a little halo around them, are probably oligodendrocytes. Um, perhaps some of the smaller, more fusiform ones might be microglia, like here and here. You see a wide variety of blood vessels like here, maybe even a capillary here and here. And it doesn't look too bad. It looks like brain. The only thing is, um, here's a uh, three or four oligos here. Here's an oligo here. The only thing that we're having a hard time finding is disease. So let's back off. And you can see brain again. And look how the brain kind of generally blends in to an area which looks kind of necrotic. In fact, more than kind of necrotic, it's very necrotic. It's granular, it's fibrinoid or fibrinous. You don't see any outlines of cells. And it's surrounded by a wide variety of uh, increased uh, glial cells and inflammatory cells. This is an example of gliosis surrounding a necrotic area. Uh, even though this necrotic area is fairly well defined, it doesn't have much texture to it. We could see it's surrounded by inflammatory cells. And uh, you'd be very, very hard pressed to call it a granuloma because it isn't. It's basically just kind of a necrotic uh, fibrinoid area. And this is a classical appearance of something we don't see too much anymore. It is the prime lesion of tertiary syphilis, and it's called a gumma. And the gumma is just the area of gum that has uh, caused destruction of brain tissue. Uh, you won't probably see active spirochetes in there like you might see in the primary and secondary lesions of syphilis because this is a tertiary lesion of syphilis. Uh, it can affect many, many, many different areas, and brain is one of its favorite areas. And we just don't see them much anymore, but we should remember that um, not that many generations ago, it was one of probably the more common type of uh, focal, uh, non-vascular, non-neoplastic uh, brain lesion in uh, older people. Thank you very much.